Good morning, you guys. I'm super excited for this announcement because I've known for a while, but I haven't been able to tell you. Um, I am going to be a suitcase girl for the new Deal or No Deal, and it's gonna be on CNBC. It comes out December 5th, I believe, and it's been really hard to keep a secret. I just, it's been so much fun, and I've been wanting to tell you guys, but I haven't been able to because I signed a NDA. But I'm gonna give you guys a little more information because already my friends have been asking me a ton of stuff. So I wanted to share with you a few things about the process and what I'm doing. And then let me know if there's anything else you wanna know because I'm up here shooting right now. So first, a lot of people asked me what the audition process was like. And I have an agent, so it went out to all the agents and um, some of you might not know, but I've been modeling since I was four. So I started with Ford models and I started at four years old and I, at 16, I got the opportunity to go to Miami and Tokyo and Germany and Paris and New York. Then I moved to LA when I was 19. Um, then I had kids, Brooke and I do the YouTube channel and I really stopped modeling. Um, but just a few months ago, uh, my friend Richard, who I love, he's an amazing photographer, introduced me to an agent, um, Carol at CESD, and she's awesome. And she sent me on like four auditions, and our first audition was for our whole family. I thought that's what we'd be doing a lot of, and we booked it for KB Homes. It was really, really fun to get to model with my husband and our two boys, Nova. She got the boot that time, not because she's not adorable, but they just didn't need a baby. And then this is like my fourth audition. So it's really amazing and exciting that I would get it. And the first audition was via Skype. There was one girl who Skyped it and she was really, really nice. In fact, a funny story. My husband left, so I'm doing it at my house. I clean, you know, the area that I know that they'll see. And I'm wearing a dress, or I, everybody leaves so it's quiet. And then I put my dress on and I realize I cannot zip it up all the way. So I'm doing the Skype facing this way and little do they know that my dress is like halfway down in the back because I had no one to zip it up and I just, I tried so hard, could not get it. But then halfway through the Skype interview, she's like, okay, now we need to see you walk. Can you walk back and up? And I was like, mm, I can, but you might see a little more. Uh, then we both planned because my dress is not zipped up and she laughed and she was like, okay, well, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's fine. You know, they might even remember you because of that. So I did it and I just said, oh, sorry, I have nobody here to zip my dress up. And it must have worked because I got a call back. So they went to New York, Miami, and LA for auditions. And so for the LA audition, I went in with all these beautiful girls, all probably in their 20s, um, just stunning. Some are in their 30s, but just pff, knockouts. And I'll show you some of them from our shooting. And it's just, they were amazing. And I'll be honest, I was like, I just don't know if this is gonna be my thing and I'm gonna book this job. Um, I just don't know if, you know, if I am right for this. So uh, we went in the audition. They probably for 15 minutes, maybe it felt like 15 minutes and it was only five, but they talked a lot to us. They asked me what would be the hardest thing about doing the show and I knew that they were filming in Orlando, Florida, so I told them the hardest thing would be that my kids would be super jealous that I'm getting to go to Orlando, Florida at Universal Studios because they're huge Harry Potter fans. Um, they also asked me what it would mean to me if I want, if I got to be on the show. And I really felt strongly that if I was gonna be on the show, I think it would be really inspiring for me and to share with other women that even if you're a mama, I have had three kids and my body is not back to my pre-baby weight, that that's okay. Like our worth and our value does not just come from you know, being super skinny, and that I would love to rep any moms out there who still have dreams, who still want to do fun, amazing, creative things, and I really feel strongly about that, that, you know, that 
I'm here partly to let other women know that no matter what your size or what you look like um, that or how old you are, that you can still do amazing things. And I know I'm not like, I know I'm not ugly. <laughs> we don't need to get into this on this video, but um, it definitely being here with all these gals that are just so gorgeous and I see them take Instagram pictures and the first one they take is just amazing and I'm like, uh-uh, I gotta take like 10 to get a shot that I feel really good about and I think I look my best. <sighs> but I feel like it's a good exercise in keeping your mind in check and even though there's beautiful people or girls that have better legs or hair or whatever it is, keep your mind in check that that's not what's the most important thing in life. And you have amazing things too. Everyone has their own amazing things. And not to go down that rabbit hole of what everybody else has or what you wish you had. And I keep my thoughts in check and it really helps out. It's not easy all the time, um, but it really, really helps. So next, um, I waited a few weeks and maybe two weeks and then I got the call that I booked it and that I had some fittings in LA. So I was freaking out, it still didn't feel real. I was like, are you sure I booked it? Are they just wanting me to come to the fitting to see if I fit into clothes? And then gonna be like, oh, I didn't realize her hips were so big, I'm gonna freaking pass on her. So I went to the fitting, we gotta try on all these amazing outfits and then I got called for the second fitting. I'm like, okay, they, <laughs> they still want me. These all were like really long days. Her shoes are very, very tall, like, like four and a half inches, five inches. I should get a ruler to tell you exactly. They're very, very hard to wear for really long periods of time. And for the first fitting, I we were on our feet like five or six hours and two or three of my toes, I couldn't feel. And even after three or four days, I was like, uh, am I gonna have to amputate a toe? Like what is going on? So I'm doing all these Google searches, no Google, results on wearing high heels because probably people just take them off and don't wear them for so long that their feet start to lose feeling in them. But I did see that people who were in marathons often have this happen. So I knew I wasn't gonna have to amputate my toes, which was great, but it was really hard to be on my feet that long. And I knew when we're shooting, obviously it's gonna be this long, if not longer. So mentally I'm still, preparing for that. Um, after the fittings, um, we flew to, everyone flew from New York or Miami or LA. We all flew to Orlando. We had a fitting here together and we're shooting on the Orlando Universal lot, which is really fun. Um, so we had our fittings, we had beauty tests, we had a rehearsal, we practiced walking up and down the stairs which was crazy. In fact, one of the girls fell and like hurt her leg a little bit, cut it from the stage. It was crazy and we're all like getting around her and like make, putting her hair up and like it was, it was, I thought she broke her ankle. Luckily she did not break her ankle. She just got a little cut, but it was crazy and it made us all a little nervous about doing the steps even more. So we practiced a bunch and now I feel like we got it. Um, but it is not easy to walk those stairs and those heels and hopefully we make it look easy. Yesterday was our first day of shooting. So we did two contestants and we gotta wear two different dresses, which one of them was one of my favorites. It was really pretty. I really like the wardrobe a ton. Like a amazing red suit. There is lots of sparkly dresses. Um, a lot of them have sleeves. We're wearing this amazing like 60s mod white with long sleeves with the, this red trim down the side. Really cool stuff, I'm really excited. They also have been really kind, the styling people. I've been on some sets since I've had a baby that, you know, I'm already insecure about my, my body and the things that haven't gone back yet or the weight I haven't lost yet. And um, I've had companies where their teams aren't kind. They're maybe, I wouldn't say they go out of their way to be mean, but they're not kind. And um, putting on clothes 
uh, this team has been very kind. They've been very like, we're gonna make sure you look your best, we're gonna make sure you look amazing, and are very, very just accepting of everyone's bodies and wanting to make sure that we just look our best. So I really, really appreciate that. When we work with an amazing team, that's kind, like that's another thing, meeting all the girls, there's 28 of us, 26 that have suitcases and two girls that are amazing, that they are playing, I think they're alternatives, but alternates rather. A lot of you might be wondering if Howie Man Mandel is back. He is and he is hilarious and he's funny and it's really awesome. I think people watch shows like this and they don't realize how hard it is to be just on and coming up with jokes on the fly. A lot of them are written into the script, but he also is just so quick witted and he's very warm. He also, he lives down my street, which is awesome. I have some friends that live in his neighborhood. He's been married for 40 years. He's not like trying to hit on all the girls at all, but he's also very warm and friendly. So again, I think that trickles down into the whole cast and crew that the creators, the producers are very kind and professional so that everybody is. And it's been great to work with him so far. And um, yeah, they've been really amazing. And all the girls that they chose too. I've been on so many castings and sets where there's vibes. There is none of that here. In fact, I was a little nervous the first few girls that I met and they all came up to me very confidently and shook my hand and said, hey, I, this is my name, what's your name? And so friendly and I feel like you just, I don't wanna take that for granted because not every set is like that and it might get crazy, we're here for 30 days, which is a long time to shoot together. Um, almost 30 girls shooting for 30 days, it could be drama, but so far, it's everyone's just been really, really lovely and I think they're very confident and, and comfortable in their skin. So it's been enjoyable to be around so many amazing, really nice women. So glad I could share this with you guys. And if you have any questions below, let me know. And if you want more videos on this, let me know too. Like I could show you around my hotel, all the things I brought from LA, the things I had to buy here. Um, I could show you more about the other girls that I am modeling with. Each one has an amazing story. Like literally I could do one, an episode on every single one of them and interview them and tell you because they're not just models up here. They are business owners. They're Miss Teen, I think Teen USA or Teen America. I'm not positive. Miss Nevada, Miss Germany, fitness models. There's a DJ who's awesome. She's maybe one of my favorites. There's, I think, I know there's two, maybe three other mamas that have kids. The girls who are from last time, holy cow, they can wear their heels. Like, I'm smiling on the outside, but on the inside, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can handle it. Pull it together, summer, my feet, they're gonna fall off, I can't handle it. But, the, but outside, smiling but it's freaking hard. Those girls are like dancing around. Patricia's like jumping afterwards. I'm like, I'm walking like an old grandma, like, <sighs> and she's got a few years on me, but she looks amazing. They all are so beautiful and inspiring. Okay, so I could do it on there. I could also try to get an interview with Howie if you guys want me to interview him on here. He's amazing. Maybe I could do it during lunch or something. He's awesome. Um, or some of the other crew and people who create the show, the behind the scenes people, the styling team's amazing, the makeup team's amazing, the producers are great. Let me know in the comments if there's anything specific that you'd want me to share. All right, you guys, thanks so much. Subscribe so you don't miss anything else, and I will see you guys later. Thanks, bye-bye.